12 years in prison. That's what the Crown is seeking for two men convicted of brutally and violently sexually assaulting a young woman for more than five hours back in December of 2016. I'm Christina Howard outside of 361 University, where the defense attorneys for Gavin McMillan and Enzo De Jesus, both convicted of gang sexual assault and administering a stupefying drug, are seeking sentences of less than six months and up to two years. Meanwhile, the victim, who can't be named because of a publication ban, is still trying to piece her life back together. The victim's mother delivered a heart-wrenching victim impact statement in court. My daughter was a loving, trusting, creative individual, and it was all taken away from her. She said McMillan and De Jesus destroyed her daughter's life, that for the first three months after the assault, she barely left the house or even the couch. The heinous assault, or rather series of assaults, happened over the course of more than five hours in December 2016 at a bar owned by McMillan on College Street. Jurors saw videos of the victim stumbling around in the bar and then being pinned down, slapped, having her throat grabbed, pried with cocaine and sexually violated repeatedly by McMillan and De Jesus. She is shown repeatedly trying to push them away or tapping out. But after watching hours of video, the jury found she was in no state to provide any sort of consent. The Crown is seeking 12 years of prison time. De Jesus's lawyer is hoping for a sentence of six months less a day so he doesn't face deportation to the Dominican Republic. But says if the judge believes the facts are more serious, a sentence of 18 months to two years would be appropriate. McMillan's defense attorney is arguing for a similar sentence. It's a very um, broad um, range uh, for sexual assault cases, and it's, it's going to depend in large part on what um, Justice Danbrot finds as a matter of fact. But even still, uh, our positions are very far apart. Uh, we've taken the position that the Crown's uh, request for 12 years is far outside the range for even facts on, on their um, position. Um, our position that even if you accept the Crown's facts, it's closer to the range of two years. McMillan has been on house arrest since December 2016. De Jesus had his bail revoked after being charged with unrelated sex charges. He remains in custody. Now, McMillan's lawyers have filed an appeal in relation to his conviction, all part of a change to jury selection rules. As of right now, De Jesus's lawyers have not. Sentencing is expected on February 12th.